Good morning, I'm Jonathan with Bridging the Map here in Tbilisi, Georgia to give you the inside scoop on the diverse, wonderful cuisine of Georgia. Now before we can actually go visit any local eateries, we have to go back to the basics and discover what Georgian food is really about. So we're going to be walking around the Deserters Market, which is the largest market here in Tbilisi. And we're going to be discovering some of what the locals use in their food. So come along with me today on this food journey and let's bridge the map. So we just bought some walnuts and I'm going to try one right now. Absolutely delicious. You can find them in many, many dishes, in uh, meat dishes, in dishes with eggplant in them. So if you love nuts, this is the place to be. Madlova. Thank you so much. Madlova. So guys, I just bought Trochekla. <laughs> the one that I got today is fruit and walnut and it is encased in just like very very hard grape juice so i'm gonna try it now it looks amazing there you go let's see what it tastes like it's supposed to be very sweet and delicious mm -hmm. wow very fruity of course the apricots are very sweet and the nuts are very very delicious but the outside coating is very gummy and so it's almost like eating a fruit chew. Definitely something you should check out when you get here. So this is Georgian cheese. I just asked the lady what the name was and she doesn't speak English, so her answer was moo. <laughs> We're gonna try it here. Mmm. Wow. It's so salty and so delicious. The salt brings out all the creaminess of the cheese. All right guys, we finished up with the market. We've got our snacks for later, and now we're gonna be heading to our first local eatery of the day. It's about a five minute walk, and I can't wait to introduce this place to you guys. Let's go. Hey guys, come on in. We've got some delicious food to try. So we're here at Mokshalia, and it is one of the best places to get local cheap food here in Tbilisi. Our first dish we're going to be trying today is called karcho, and it is the Georgian equivalent of satay. It's got walnut paste, and plum puree, and coriander, and this one is chicken, but you can also get it with beef. So it's going to be really nutty, I think. I'm excited to try it for the first time. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's very, very nutty, and the chicken is extremely tender. So that's our first dish, and then we're going to try the gomi, okay? And it is cornmeal and some cheese that's kind of melting inside. It's like porridge. Okay, let's try it with some cheese. Wow, the cheese is really salty, so it kind of flavors and seasons the gomi. It brings me back to mornings at home before I went to school and I would have porridge for breakfast. It's so good, guys. Okay, the last thing we're going to be trying here is called shvishtari, and it is a cornbread and cheese fritter. It's very, very crunchy on the outside and really, really soft and gooey on the inside. It looks so good, guys. Mm. Can't wait to bite into it. Here we go. It also smells so good. That's everything I thought it would be. It tastes like cornbread, but cheesy cornbread with fried deliciousness on the outside. So, if you're coming to Mapshalia, make sure that you're going to try the karcho, the gomi, and the chishtari. Wow, guys, we ate all of it. It was so delicious. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this Georgian food. And 
we're going to be heading to a very, very famous spot next, which is well known for its kachapuri. So let's clean up here and head on over. Guys, we have a special treat for you. We are here at Retro Cafe, one of the best places to get the traditional Georgian kachapuri. Let me tell you a little bit about this dish. It actually originates from Batumi on the Black Sea coast of Georgia. And if you notice with me, it's this beautiful crispy bread. There's cheese wrapped around the inside and cheese in the middle. And then at the end of the baking process, they put an egg in here and some butter. And this is all just cheese. So what you do, the customary way to eat this is to take the egg and scramble it all up in there. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. Again, that cheese is really, really tangy and salty. And then you have the delicious, beautiful egg that just got scrambled by the heat. And then the crispy bread. Let's break into some of the bread, too. See how that tastes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. The bread is so crispy and you can see that cheese I was talking about that's wrapped inside the dough. It's nice and melty and gooey. So delicious, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna eat the whole thing. All right, so we just finished up here at Retro Cafe and now we're gonna be heading off to try one of the most famous parts of Georgian cuisine, wine. We're gonna be doing an hour-long wine tasting with the sommelier in downtown Tbilisi. And we'll walk around the city a little bit as well because it's such a beautiful day out. America? Yes, yes, America. Oh, Oh, yes. Ni nada. Very, very beautiful. So what you just witnessed here was just a typical day at the Dry Bridge Flea Market. It's actually one of my favorite places to visit here in Tbilisi. What you're going to find here is a lot of trinkets, some Soviet memorabilia, and a lot of just odds and ends of, of things that people have collected over amount of years. And it's really nice because the people are so friendly and they want to talk to you. So if you're coming to Tbilisi and you're walking around the downtown area, come to the Dry Bridge Flea Market and meet a local and have some fun along the way. All right, we've made our way to 8,000 Vintages. There are three of these locations in the city of Tbilisi, each with a different vibe or a different personality. So come on, let's go inside and learn a little bit more about the delicious wine of life here in Georgia. Okay, I'm so ready. Uh, wine, what are we gonna uh, try? This is the plastic style wine, so it's not a fairy. We will try fairy style wine, and we will try plastic style wine. Okay. We're also making this plastic style wine. Mmm, it smells very, very good. It's very fresh. Yes, very refreshing. It's very fresh and has this great citrus flavor, a lot of citrus. Oh, yeah, I taste that, that citrusy note to it. Oh. So it's this a bit darker a... than the la last one we tried. French? Oh my goodness, the smell is so interesting. I love it. it uh, it's hard to describe. But here we do have more dried fruit flavors. The dried fruits are very, very dominant. It's very good. good. Yes, very good. Yeah. Ooh, yes, I'm going to love this one. So one of my favorite wines to try in Georgia is the semi-sweet uh, red wine. And here we are, we've got it right here. It's beautiful color. It's, it has like these raspberry notes to it. It's flavors. Oh, that's really good, yes. I love that one. <laughs> it's very, obviously it's sweet, but it has this beautiful fruity texture to it. It's very, very crisp. It's very soft. We are now heading to Shavilomi. It is a beautiful place, and it's one of the most highly rated places to eat here in Tbilisi. I'm so excited that this is the way we're gonna be finishing our vlog today. So let's head on over and have a really good time. We finally got our food at Shavilomi, and the first thing we're gonna be trying today is um, roasted eggplant in walnut paste. And the name is called Badrijani Nijvit. 
So this is a bit different. Normally it's wrapped in walnut paste, but you can see here we just have the whole roasted eggplant and the walnut paste is on the outside. So we're gonna be trying this. This is actually my favorite dish in Georgia. I love eggplant and I love walnut sauce. So let's try it. Wow, oh my gosh. It is so good. Also, I forgot to mention there are pomegranate seeds in here. So that gives like a burst of this tartness and bitterness to the walnut paste, which is nutty and creamy. And the roasted eggplant, of course, is also a little bit nutty as well. This dish is the traditional beef in the plum sauce. It actually smells like red wine. Super, super fragrant. It's beautifully cooked, very, very tender, and it is served on alongside of this beautiful cheesy potato. So good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the potato first. Maybe dip it in some sauce. Some of the plum sauce. Wow, that plum sauce is really, really good. It's very sweet, and, it's, and it, the, the flavor of the plum is very, very strong. So let's go ahead and try some of the beef. See how it's soaked in with that amazing sauce? It looks so good and very, very tender. It just melts in your mouth. It's the most delicate flavor. All right, guys, the time has come to try our last dish. This is the shpiruli, which is a chicken in garlic sauce. If you can look with me right here, we have a lot of creamy, garlicky goodness here. It is so beautiful and so delicious. I cannot wait to dive into this, and I'm assuming that this chicken is gonna be extremely tender again. So let's go ahead and try some of this shpiruli. Wow, that is so phenomenal. The chicken, of course, like I said, is tender. And the garlic sauce is just infused into the chicken meat, so it's very, very flavorful and delicious. So we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna kind of like rest, because we ate so much today, it's so good. And yeah, we did miss out on a few meals, but hopefully when you guys come, you'll do your research as well, and you'll be able to see that there's so much more of Georgian food to try than you can do in one day. So let's go back to eating this, and then we'll finish our day out. All right guys, we just finished up our last stop. It has been an incredible day of eating delicious Georgian food. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us and I hope that you were able to be a little bit educated about what Georgian food is all about so that way when you come, you can spend day after day just trying new foods.